Leave the loose cannon cop on his own to find his partner while you two evacuate the people. That makes sense. I guess Ben will be here at the police station. That's all I want to know. Where are we in all this mess? Oh, man, this is rough for Ben. His dad's always leaving him. I feel sorry for the kid. Oh, cool. We get to meet, so we get to meet a police dog. We can't control any of this, viewers. Got a visitor, eh? Shiva. <laughs> nice little Final Fantasy reference there, Square. There's probably a lot more that I don't know, but that, that's the only one that I can think of right off the back, is the dog named Shiva. Oh, Ben made a friend. Here we are, evacuating the surgeon. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Man, that taxi came awfully close to hitting the officer. Yeah. Some crazy drivers. This place is starting to look empty. Wrecked cars with people trying to hurry the evacuation. Oh, that's an ice skate. I was looking at it for a while and I'm wondering, what is that supposed to be? Because I, oh, I can see it was the scarf. Hey, who's that guy in the blue? Japanese man. Ah, your English is not very good, eh? Japanese. Okay, if you know Japanese, how could you not recognize that he was Japanese? Come on, Cop B. Toto dake na, daru, daru desu ka? I'm Kunihiko Meda, a Japanese er, ah. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Heh, <laughs> heh. Uh, arg. Calm down, take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm hot. H help. And Eve set him on fire for no reason, apparently. I guess he was the closest to the city. Oh, wait a minute. If the cop is set on fire, all right. Why? Why is Meta not being set on fire? If the cop was just randomly set on fire by Eve. I guess it's for plot development! Haha! <laughs> Yay! More random plot stuff. I, uh. That area doesn't look familiar yet. Looks like a re waiting room area. Huh. Waiting room? There is, uh. Where is this place? Huh, can't really make it out. It's like a... How do you know that's the hospital, Aya? Have you been there before? And she dies. Nah, nah, just yanking your chain, viewers. She's right there on the bed. Come on, man. I will hurry up with this plot exposition. I want a save point. Yeah. No thanks to you, pal. Kunihiko Meda, scientist from Japan. He found you. Who's he? <gasps> Daniel! You big angry black guy, come here. I miss you, you loose cannon cop. 
Uh, sweet, we have Manhattan to ourselves. Let's have to throw the biggest party ever. Oh no. You just brought up a bad memory. They, they didn't disappear, they melted, Aya. You watched them get melted. Yeah, okay, if you saw that, why are you asking about the people in Central Park, Aya? Come on. Yeah, you just told Daniel that his wife melted. Wait, what? Japan? Several years ago, okay. Ah, so it was a very small scale. The incident that made us talking about is the first Resident Evil. It was the oh, it's the Resident Evil movie that was adapted from a story I was telling you guys about in another episode. It's right here on YouTube. Go ahead and look it up if you want to watch it. It's not that bad. The ending's horrible. Like the ending just doesn't resolve a whole lot, and it's kind of just uh, it feels like it was rushed. But the rest of the movie's pretty good. Try cloning her, really. Kind of some discrepancies between here and the story, but it's pretty much the. Yeah. An ultimate being, eh? about the ultimate being, though. Yeah, like, in the movie, there was no ultimate being that was given birth to or anything. And they just kind of left that hanging there. I, mean, I guess they kind of explained how Eve died, because, well, the, she was just a bunch of cells. She couldn't keep herself together. But, you know... What happened to the ultimate being? Oh, that's the discussion for the movie. I, sh I should leave that discussion for the movie, but... Well, I won't be showing the movie on this channel because someone else has already done it, but still. I just thought it was kind of an interesting thing. So, it still left me a lot of questions. You're about to be ignited, correct? No. Yeah. I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Eve several times. Hoping to kill her, but nev never seemed to be the case. Dun-dun-dun! Dramatic reverb! I'm sorry, I'm getting too excited here, viewers. But what if I do end up killing people? But, Aya, you can... You may not be able to set people on fire, but you can keep yourself healed pretty well. I mean, most of your powers seem to focus on defensive stuff. Yeah, I can heal myself, barrier, detox. I seem to be a pretty regenerative person. I have a lot of defensive aspects to me. My powers are used to defend, not hurt. So far. <laughs> you do eventually get attack spells yours. going, pal. I'm taking the long way to the door, because I'm super slow and like that. And I could have, you know, walked straight to the door and gone around the other side of the barrel, but no. I, uh, you're no monster. Have you ever lost control of yourself?
Yeah, and if you keep talking like that, the angry black guy will come out and punch you. He has anger problems. That, yeah. He punches a reporter, he will punch his partner. Where the heck is a phone? I've been recording for 20, nearly 25 minutes now because of how long this plot exposition has been going. Might split this up into two videos. M Maya? So, you have a formerly deceased n sister named Maya who died in a car crash along with your mother. Interesting. Finally, save point. Alright. Thank you for watching Let's Play Parasite Eve, everyone. Tomorrow, we'll start day three. See you all later.